WCCF Tech coverage of CES 2017 is brought to you in part by Radeon Technologies Group. Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith again, and today we're going to take a look at the future of Future Mark. While we were at CES 2017, we got to sit down with Ryan of Future Mark and talk about what they had coming with the company and what to expect for those of you out there who love running benchmarks and, well, seeing how things perform. Starting off, we're going to take a look at the Windows side of things and later on move to the mobile. So if you're into the Windows as well as uh, mobile, well, you want to listen to both parts, but one or the other, we'll go ahead and try to timestamp those down in the uh, description below. Now, kicking things off with Windows, we have updates to 3D Mark. Now, what we're seeing with the 3D Mark updates is we're getting updates to the API overhead feature test that will also be adding Vulkan support, as well as DirectX 11.1 and DX12 APIs. Now, we'll also be seeing new DirectX 12 benchmark test. We're going to see a new version of Time Spy Extreme with 4K rendering resolution and other workload increases. We're also going to see a new lighter DirectX 12 test targeting integrated graphics performance, which should be really interesting with the new Raven Ridge CPUs or APUs rather coming later this year from AMD. We'll also be seeing an entirely new test and scene using DirectX 12.1 and work begins on that this year. You will also be getting support for high dynamic range or better known as HDR. View Time Spy and future, all future 3D Mark releases will have HDR as well as split screen. What that allow you to do is split the screen between half showing HDR, half not showing HDR. Keep in mind you're going to have to have a monitor or TV that supports HDR in order to show this. Now it's really designed to show how great HDR gaming can look on these compatible monitors rather than show a performance differentiation between HDR on and HDR off. Moving on to PC Mark 10. What we're getting is an entirely new PC Mark designed specifically for Windows 10. Now this will return a focus to a one single PC Mark score rather than having a score for accelerated and a score for basic. We're going to have one unified score so that it's easier to compare different systems. You don't have to wonder how was one tested, how was the other tested. They all have the same result. We'll also have updates to the storage, battery, and application test, and they plan to add in support for workstation testing. That's it for PC Mark 10. Moving on to VR Mark or virtual reality enthusiasts out there probably are already very familiar with this test. So this is a new DirectX 12 test being added. It's heavier than the the orange room which is fairly light but lighter than the blue room which is extremely heavy now this is utilizing the, their personal built from the ground up DirectX 12 engine that's designed to be well fair between AMD and Nvidia so that should be good you know to, to level that playing field and getting an apples to apples comparison the new test there is also a new test targeting performance for integrated graphics VR and that's a new generation of Windows 10 creator head mount displays. So you've probably seen those recently, low cost, uh, easy to run virtual reality headsets that Microsoft is working with other companies to get out into the world. Now this would be a good way to test those because right now there really isn't a way because we really don't know a whole lot about those, but these guys that are making these tests, they do. Now, moving out of VR Mark into Server Mark, provided you're into the per professional scene and you want to see how well a, a server can perform. Now, the new test coming in 2017 uses video transcoding that's supporting Intel Media SDK as well as NVIDIA Grid uh, applications, doing VDI that's coming that's supporting both VMware and Hyper V. Now, you will have web based uh, application. So, uh, benchmarks that that's for online banking e-commerce web hosting and the such and last but not least hpc or high power computing and that's coming in the future and that's targeting machine learning so you know you you hear a lot about deep learning machine learning that's what that's going to test that's it for the windows side of things now moving on into the mobile market we're looking at some updates for 3d mark mobile now that's an update to the android api overhead test was now going to include the vulcan apis as we're seeing it pick up pace and popularity in the mobile scene as well as the desktop market there will be a new version of slingshot benchmark that's also using the Vulkan API. So you'll be able to test that much like they're updating the API over test head test in the desktop side to support Vulkan as well. There will be a new OpenGL ES 3.2 test. It's heavier than Slingshot. It's in development, but it's pending the popularity of OpenGL ES 3.2. So if open the new version of OpenGL doesn't really take off, you're probably not going to see this one come to market. There's also a new ground up Vulkan for 3D Mark Mobile 
is planned for the future. So an entire benchmark suite surrounded by the Vulkan API. Again, it's picking up speed on the mobile side a lot more than it is on the desktop side, so it makes a lot of sense. Now there will be a PC Mark Android. Now that's an all new PC Mark Android workloads and storage test that will be updated for the previous version of PC Mark. It should be out by now. It may be coming very soon but just keep an eye out for that if that interests you and you'll also be getting a VR mark for mobile now a lot of people look at that VR mark for mobile oh god Keith please don't be advocating these little gear VR headsets but the truth is they're very popular and it does get a lot of people introduced to the world of virtual reality so if you're a VR enthusiast this could be a way to help show somebody the potential of virtual reality however back I digress back to the VR mark that will uh, be coming to mobile devices supporting all relevant VR SDKs. So there will be uh, two different tests. Uh, one test will be a peak performance test that's going to register the maximum FPS during a short test designed for high-end short-run VR experiences. Whereas there's also a constant load test that's longer test that simulates the device's ability to run constant loads for 30 FPS for an hour. Now that's designed for continuous VR experiences such as like uh, movies or like like guided tour VR tours and stuff like that. So that's what you're looking at there. Well guys, that's really about it for the updates on Future Mark. I know it seemed like a lot going in here, but uh, we'll have all this listed out on an article over on the website. That'll be in the description below. So feel free to hit that up if you want to take a look at these uh, point by point. And this has been Keith with WCCF Tech. And if you found the video informative or entertaining, feel free to like and subscribe. And we will catch you all in the next video.